tutorial, we're going to learn how to use color palettes in Autodesk Sketchbook. To access the color palettes, you can click here and here. The double puck can be moved around your canvas depending on where you want it to be. Now click on the colored circle to open up the color editor. This part is your color wheel. The outer circle lets you choose the hue that you want. The inner square is where you adjust your saturation and brightness. You can also adjust your hue, saturation and brightness or lightness by toggling the three sliders here. This rectangle on the right shows the color that you're currently using. The left rectangle shows the color that was used right before your current color. You can see the color change in the right rectangle as you change colors. Now I'm going to fill my canvas with color to demonstrate what this does. This is the transparent color function. When this is selected and you draw over a colored surface, you'll be taking away color with the brush you're using. Much like using an eraser. Now the watercolor brush is selected and I'm going to go over the blue layer with it. It looks as if you've painted white over the blue layer, but you've actually erased it with the watercolor brush. So when the transparent color is selected, you can transform any brush into an eraser. I'm gonna give you another example on how this can be useful when you're drawing. I'm going to draw a fur ball on the black layer. So here I'm actually erasing out the black layer and exposing the blue layer from underneath, therefore creating a blue fur ball. If you unsee the blue layer, you get a white fur ball. And if you decide to change the blue into a different color, the four ball color changes with it. Now I have a red fur ball. And now my fur ball's yellow. Now let's look at how to use the color picker. So I'm going to be importing this photo here. Say you're learning how to draw a realistic sky and want to use the exact same blue the picture has. It'll be hard to get the right blue based on guessing. You use the color picker to pick the color from the photo. Position the middle of the cross on the color position you want to select. Now that's more like it.
Now you've got the right sky blue and are ready to paint. Just keep picking colors from the photo you want to use in your painting. The RGB sliders let you adjust the red, green, and blue levels of your color. These are color swatches where you can create a set palette of colors for quicker access. They can be accessed by clicking on here as well. And if you ever want to reset the swatches to default, go to Preferences and click Reset Color Swatches. Now they are reset to the original swatches. Now how do we create our own custom swatches? Say I don't like this shade of blue and I want a different shade. So you select the intended color from the color wheel, then click on here and drag your finger to place it over the swatch square. And that's how you replace a swatch color. Now I'm gonna do the same and change this pink into a purple shade. When you click here to open up the color swatches, you can see that those two colors have changed as well. Now we'll look at randomizing colors. This is where you get to set your color picking on shuffle mode. You can adjust where you want your range to be for hues, saturation, and brightness on the wheel. You can also adjust how wide you want your range to be by toggling on the three sliders. Now let's try painting and see what happens. Pretty cool, huh? If you see this sign here when you're painting, it means you're on color shuffle mode. To get out of the shuffle mode, just go back into the color editor and click on any of these. Now let's look at the Copic color library. It's a library of preset color swatches categorized into different color groups. If you click here to change design to illustration, you get a much wider selection of swatches in each color group. If you click on the swatches, you can see some of them have complementary colors assigned to them, and some don't. And some have more than one complementary colors assigned to them like this swatch. Complementary colors are colors that the developers think would go hand in hand with the swatch color. Let's try painting this purple with some of its complementary colors. This helps you decide which color to pick to complement something you're designing. 
For example, you want to design a logo using this green and you want to know which color complements it. So I'm gonna choose some of the pinks here and see how they go on my logo. I think it's looking pretty good. Like this could be the design of a kids wear brand logo. So this is basically how you use color palettes in Autodesk Sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and share. Hit subscribe for more amazing videos.